Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, The Binding of Isaac Vanilla Runs and makes up some silly excuse as to why he doesn't want to do a challenge run. How about just that? I don't want to do a challenge run right now. We've been having such good luck and such fun with Vanilla Runs lately, which, let's be honest, uh, frame rate's looking a little bit wonky here, but hopefully that'll work itself out. Even though the last run was uh, uh, ostensibly, or ostensibly, I guess, I always get that confused. That's gotta be one of those English things that probably annoys people. Same thing, like, I always say, I could care less, and people get up in my face and I'm like, well, they're like, well, you know, if you could care less, then you should care less. Because, you know, if you're not familiar with English, you say, I couldn't care less if there's something that you really don't care about at all. Well, th so they have a point on a literal level, but by the same token, I'm like, well, you understand what I mean, motherfucker, so you're just being a little bit pedantic, aren't you, you big dick berry? And that's basically the end of that sentence. Anyway, uh, <laughs> the last run was indeed kind of a, it was a challenge run on paper, but it ended up being pretty vanillish because we, uh, had the opportunity to basically take whatever items we want. The only thing we couldn't do was get rid of blood rights in our spacebar slot. So it was kind of cool. It was a mid, a medley, a mixture of the two, a uh, challenge of vanilla run, if you will. Uh, and I liked it a great deal. We uh, also had a very good vanilla run very recently as Samson. So I'm uh, hoping that we continue our relatively good run of form. It has been a long time since I had a particularly terrible uh, challenge run, or sorry, a particularly terrible vanilla run. Now. Lord knows that the potential for a particularly terrible uh, vanilla run definitely exists inside of me. I've had uh, probably several dozen over the course of the series. Uh, and, you know, I've had many with Samson as well, even though he's a fairly recent addition to the game relative to, you know, all of the other characters at least. Uh, that being said, I'm hoping uh, that I manage to continue my good luck. Because, you know, if Samson could be redeemed in my eyes, I would love it a great deal. Because, you know, my love affair with Samson... Uh, it's, it's turned cold recently. I used to think he was one of the best characters in the game. I really loved Rage as an item uh, on paper, but it turns out that when you actually look at those statistics on paper, uh, Rage isn't altogether that good. So uh, instead we find ourselves in a position, especially early, where we're fighting enemies like this and we're like, wait a minute, I'm not doing very much damage. This guy doesn't have any minions that we can build extra damage off of, and we don't have any health either, nor do we have a spacebar item that is going to carry us a long way. So, so Samson has quickly grown into one of those characters where when I get him, I used to be like, oh, cool, Samson. So we'll like, have the opportunity to build some interesting damage on him. You know, who knows if we get things that allow us to kill enemies faster, like the blue candle, that's cool. Now I'm just like, ugh, Samson. Okay, how are we going to get around his shortcomings? Luckily, a uh, very easy boss fight here. Ended up picking up stem cells, which is going to be uh, an HP upgrade. I can never remember if stem cells also contains or conveys some kind of statistical or attribute upgrade uh, along the lines of a tears upgrade, I think, maybe, might be possible. Anyway, we have one more room. I might as well go to it up here. Uh, we are lacking bombs and keys. Another thing that I think makes Samson uh, kind of an imbalanced character is the fact that he starts with nothing, I think? He might start with, like, one cent. I can't remember. But, yeah, he starts with, like, a lower rate of fire. Really, the only thing that he has going for him is his... He is his uh, Rage, which is not even that good. He also starts with low health, uh, zero bombs, and zero keys. So this first floor, I wouldn't necessarily say was great to us, but getting that HP upgrade does open up the possibility for great things to happen to us later. Hopefully, we are able to um, kind of maximize our chances of success by picking up a key at some point. Again, my apologies for the frame rate. I'm not quite sure what's going on with this. Sometimes it happens. It usually clears itself up. Sometimes it doesn't, though. Uh, but hopefully, it'll work itself out. In any case, it's probably good time to, uh, you know, restart my computer after this video as well, before I record some more Isaac today. Anyway, first episode of the recording session usually goes one of two ways. Either I win or I lose, much the way, uh, I guess any run of Isaac is likely to go. That ended up being okay for- oh my god, and then I got hit by the fucking little spider to end that, which is just a little embarrassing, quite honestly. Now, I probably should have just, uh, taken out the spider this way instead, if I can get him to come down here. There we go. Uh, pick up some more bombs. Finally, we're amassing some consumables, which is nice. We are on cellar two. It is uh, obviously impossible for this to be an XL floor because we already had one uh, basic floor on this level, which is good. It's going to give us uh, the option. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Uh, it's going to give us the opportunity to get one item room, possibly uh, another secret room if we can use these bombs effectively. And tinted rocks are, of course, exceptionally valuable for me right now. I am going to shoot all this poop. Remember those days when I didn't shoot all the poop? There's still times when it happens, but now uh, I'm shooting the poop with increasing frequency because, uh, you know, oftentimes I find myself desperately in need of a couple cents. So uh, one of these meat dudes might just kill himself if I get lucky. Didn't appear to work out that way. The only reason I will not shoot poop or fire uh, consciously is either I'm already way too strong or way stronger than I need to be, or I have a Ouija board or Spirit of the Night and just like shooting poop and fire takes way more time than it's actually worth, which is really annoying. I wish that uh, that would be another thing I would love to see fixed in Rebirth. 
is uh, make it possible to shoot uh, the, the fire and the, the poop while you still have Ouija board or spectral tears in any form uh, instead of making it basically inconceivable. Uh, which is annoying. It's annoying because it, it works sometimes, but it doesn't work other times. It's like there's a 10% chance to shoot the poop, which is frustrating. As was the fact that I took some damage there. Honestly, the frame rate's kind of effing with me right now. It's almost like a Camtasia thing. Hey, unlimited keys! I'm glad we uh, didn't find the item room as soon as I wanted to, actually. Uh, initially wanted to, anyway. Because now we find ourselves in a position where uh, I will not have to spend any keys, which is amazing. Because I desperately need uh, these keys. It's, or it's looking like I'm desperately going to need these keys anyway. Portable slot. Absolutely trash item, but we'll pick it up. I wish I could put it back down rather than just have the temptation to use it. Uh, but who knows? Maybe portable slot will get, like, Bloody Penny or something and we'll be able to do something. Or I don't know what else. D20 maybe would be interesting if we can get them to work together. But for now, let's just go fight our boss and hope for uh, an HP upgrade and then a deal with the devil. So that this whole nightmare can end. So... We're not going to be able to build any damage against Pin, but Pin is uh, an easy boss to fight in his own right anyway. I'm not going to use any bombs because I would love to be able to go to the uh, secret room. There appear to be three possible locations for the secret room to be. Uh, and you know what? Fuck the, the health increase. I would just love a damage increase. If we can get the pentagram from this or a health increase followed by a deal with the devil. Because if I take a deal with the devil right now, I may find myself in a position where uh, I have literally zero health and no means in which to get more, which scares the shit out of me. As, you know, it probably should, in all honesty. Thank you, by the way, to Pin for basically killing himself. Uh, that was much appreciated. That should do it. Oh my god, how did I miss? Oh, and I got hit! You've got to be fucking kidding me that I ended up getting hit on that after all of that fucking ordeal went through. Okay. Um, we have unlimited keys, so we should go to the shop just to see if there's anything worthwhile there. Uh, and I, my guess is that they're, eh, the ladder is not fantastic. You know what? It's so not fantastic that I'm not going to worry about buying it, even if we do get enough money. I'm trying to go through uh, the Bisnap frame of thought, which is like, you know, just don't buy the ladder. It's not worth it most of the time. We'll see. I'm going to check for the secret room as well. I should say it's not worth it. It's just that there's better items. It's not worth it, sends the wrong message. Um, we have a fortune teller, which I'm not going to go to, but at least we found a secret room, so all that, that question has been answered in our brain. We're uh, exactly the same as we started with, except for minus one spirit heart, plus two red heart containers. Not good, but the infrastructure does exist for us to uh, possibly get some better items. We are on an XL floor. Is that positive or negative? Always remains to be seen. It lowers the number of shops we're going to encounter in the game, which is uh, always frustrating. Uh, and we're, we're pretty low on keys, so we definitely can't go to every room that I want to go to. I wonder... I should probably try to blow up one of these bomb flies, if possible, uh, near the bottom center of the screen, so that I can look for the secret room down there. We really kind of have to, unfortunately, uh, abuse... Well, I just blew up both bomb flies simultaneously, so never mind. I was going to say, we, we should. Have to is a strong word, I guess. A strong series of words. Um, but we really should blow up, uh, or use all of our available uh, advantages, even if they do seem a little... Overly precautionary, maybe even a little cheesy, depending on how you play the Binding of Isaac, but anyway. We have a mob trap room, sorry, a boss trap room, which I absolutely want to go to. Hopefully we'll find an arcade on this floor, not least of which because it'll allow us to get to 15 cents. We will blow this up if there is a uh, spirit heart. Okay, I want the bomb. I'm not going to take the spirit heart yet. I'm just going to remember that it's here, because if we want to go to the curse room, then I want to be able to do that without having the guilt of losing the spirit heart. And who knows, maybe that'll end up saving my life. See, I'm, I'm making an active effort to be a little bit smarter in my Binding of Isaac play. Will it work out for me? Uh, there's a chance. We'll see. It, it, to a certain extent, it's up to RN Jesus, you know, the uh, random number generator, as uh, I've colloquially been calling it, inspired by Alpaca Patrol. Alpaca Patrol also makes Binding of Isaac videos. Go check him out, youtube.com slash alpaca patrol. That's alpaca like the animal, not alpaca like alpaca the books, you alpaca the suitcase. I don't know. It doesn't really make any sense. I'm just saying it's alpaca without a K after the C. So we're still doing absolute dog shit damage. Um, we have a forget me now, which honestly is very, very interesting. After I beat the bosses, I may indeed come back here and double our chances to get decent items on this floor. Is it worth it? Well, we'll see because we're going to need to get more keys in the process as well. I think if you take a, a forget me now, you don't necessarily... Uh, Yes, I will use a bomb here. Uh, you don't necessarily get an XL floor when you go to the next floor. You can just get two regular floors, which again would increase the number of shops that we could get. Could be interesting, at the very least. Uh, so you know what? I'm, n I'm never going to use the portable slot. Let's play it once. Hey, you gave us a pill. And then we'll uh, take the Forget Me Now and leave forever. Uh, so we'll use this after we beat the bosses, unless we get an amazing spacebar item I'd love to keep. Our pill is... 
God. Okay, there's no way this is good. This is... It's interesting. We're gonna take Rainbow Baby. We're not gonna take uh, the Holy Water. And we're just gonna pop the Forget Me Now immediately and end up back on the Caves Part 1. So, that didn't work out as ideally as I wanted it to. Obviously, I wanted to get like four boss items uh, and then... Uh, you know, come back down. But basically, this gives me another... It gave me a free Rainbow Baby. Is that a huge get? No, absolutely not. It cost us Portable Slot, which is my way of saying it effectively cost us nothing. Uh, we, we don't have the ladder, and we couldn't have gotten... We couldn't have purchased the ladder regardless, so there's nothing we could have done there. So we basically do, you know, free Rainbow Baby. Big whoop. Uh, that Forget Me Now could have turned out amazingly if we beat the bosses, you know, maybe snag a deal with the devil, get some HP upgrades, then reroll again and get some more HP upgrades and find ourselves, uh, capable of winning the game, but I really can't complain, we do find ourselves in a slightly better position than we were in when we initially came down to what ended up being the Caves XL. Mr. Boom, still a garbage spacebar item, uh, but we're slowly eliminating the garbage spacebar items from the pool, so maybe eventually, uh, we'll get good spacebar items from our item rooms instead, or better yet, good passive items, because I don't give a shit about spacebar items from the, uh, item room, typically they end up being really, really bad. Now, I could get that heart. I don't think it's a necessity yet. Uh, if the opportunity presents itself, I would love to be able to go to the shop. Hopefully, we'll be able to get a map or compass or something like that, or even fight green and get enough money to guarantee us to go to shops in the future. But, again, we can't really afford to waste this key just yet. Forget me now yet. Uh, I'm, I'm happy we've, we got the Rainbow Baby. Rainbow Baby is one of the better familiars. Uh, of course, it does give us the option to get sweet, uh, sweet, sweet revenge with things like freezing and slowing and, and spectral tears that don't really do that much for us, but still. Uh, we have found the second secret room by accident. That is good to know. There's a fortune teller in there that I'm not going to blow up. I'm going to use Mr. Boom to blow up this uh, tinted rock here. And there's a golden chest, which I'm very tempted to open. If I get more red hearts, I will definitely go through with the uh, curse room there. Because you never know what that'll pay out with. And again, I'm, I'm, my hands are pretty much tied. I have to take every available opportunity. And actually, if I could hit one more time... My, or sorry, one more time by the champion. Now one more time in general. My life is over. So let's just be a little cautious here, shall we? Uh, it's pretty important to me to maintain my survival. Oh, we did get a spirit heart by way of the scapula, though. So it's not all is not lost yet. There is enough money for us to go to the shop, where hopefully we'll not accidentally fight greed and kill ourselves. Bum friend. I don't like it. I don't like it enough. Um, I don't want to lose this... Spirit Heart, but I still do want to follow through with my promise to go to the Curse Room, if possible. Let's check out what we got in here first. Hopefully some more Red Hearts. Uh, left Hand. I don't really like it, but we'll take it because we're in a desperate situation. This will give us Red Chests more often, uh, which could, you know, have the potential to give us items that would be good enough to replace Mr. Boom. You know, something like a, a Guppy's Head is a fairly frequent drop from Red Chest, or uh, deal with the Devil items exceptionally rarely, but within the realm of possibility. We're going to be fighting Gertie. I'm going to drop... Uh, that bomb there, which actually did a decent amount of damage. That's really all Mr. Boom is going to be good for in this situation. Uh, and Gertie's one of those enemies. Ton of HP, obviously. But he also creates uh, minions. And if I'm able to destroy those minions, obviously that will improve my damage. I don't know if it'll do anything to the damage of Rainbow Baby. We're still very much lacking, you know, some items to put us over the top. But, uh, you know, we're going to have to rely on our resourcefulness. It's an exciting time to be... Uh, to be alive and be Samson, I would say. These flies will speed up the process a great deal. I certainly think, you know, the odds of us dying on uh, this floor or the next floor, quite low. Uh, we'll see what we get from this guy. Obviously, the most important thing for me to get would be a good deal with the devil, but I don't necessarily hold out a staggering amount of hope for that happening. We do get a coin purse, which has four different kinds of pills. Let's test it. Inevitably, some of these have to be bad. Pretty Fly is really good. Luck Up is fine. Friends till the end is pretty good and bad trip. It had to happen. On the bright side, this does open up the possibility for us to go to the curse room. Uh, maybe with uh, the left hand, we'll have a better chance of getting uh, more red chests, like two red chests. Maybe one of them could give us mom's knife. Who knows? Maybe one of them will suck us off in the parking lot because uh, everything I'm suggesting so far has about the same odds of happening as that. Sure, okay, we are going to take the pact here. Might seem like a silly decision because my health is so low, but getting these raw statistical upgrades, oh my god. The luckiest eternal heart in history. In any case, getting these raw statistical upgrades is uh, essential as someone like Samson, where we're basically going to need this health, or sorry, need the, this damage in order to kill enemies in order to get damage. Or if there's uh, bosses that don't have minions, 
We don't want Book of Sin, no. If there's enemies that don't create minions, then I need to, you know, be in there uh, doing as much damage as is possible without relying on rage. So again, apologies for the frame rate. Not sure it's totally up with that. We've lost one Spirit Heart, which is something that is, you know, probably something I couldn't afford to do. We are... Oh, good! We didn't have to spend any bombs, and we ended up picking up three bombs there, which is a solid deal. So if you're not familiar with the Pact, basically you usually trade uh, two Red Heart containers. You get a Spirit Heart in return, I believe, or two Spirit Hearts in return. I think it's just one, because we got some from the scat. Uh, I've already lost those. So I guess, uh, in the end, that Curse Room ended up... That's, you know, give credit where credit's due, that Curse Room ended up turning out pretty well for us. Why don't we check out this one, too, just to see if we get lucky twice. Uh, wow, okay. Thank you, Curse Rooms. Maybe this is a, a product of the luck up working for us, or maybe it's a product of the game saying, Hey, I told you, motherfucker, go to Curse Rooms. Um, but for now, let's just continue onwards. Um, you know, we do have this Mr. Boom. It recharges 172 rooms, so I should probably use it more often whenever I have the opportunity to use bombs. I should use Mr. Boom instead. We found our secret room. Please tell me that in some roundabout way, through some coincidence that I can't possibly imagine, this ends up giving us uh, some keys. Red chest gives us Troll Bomb, which we will say see you later to. Um, and then we will run for our goddamn lives. Might as well let it explode just so it doesn't bite us in the ass and we have to backtrack. Okay, so just ignore the other two for now. I have the range advantage to kind of stand away from them and just take them out easily. Please drop some keys. Uh, the shop and the item room are of the utmost importance to my survival. That is a curse room I will not be going to. And let's continue onwards, shall we? So, as of right now, uh, we're still in a position that I would consider a little bit hamstrung relative to where I would like to be, but in spite of that, probably a little bit stronger than we were recently. So, we're just going to pop, pop down a Mr. Boom here. He didn't move out of the way, so that's going to be another Eternal Heart for us. I'm going to leave it there just on the off chance we lose all these Spirit Hearts over the rest of this floor. It's the Catacombs. It's not out of the side of the realm of possibility, is it? Oh, there's another half Spirit Heart that I lost in the stupidest way because I knew that those flies were already there. What was I thinking? Um, okay, just run away. <laughs> I was going to say just play it cool. But play it cool, uh, you know, it has its limits. We're not Fonzie, uh, as you can probably guess, based on, you know, the neurotic kind of uh, words coming out of my mouth. My diction, if you will. My neurotic diction, which doesn't that just sounds like a great rapper name or something like that. But anyway, um, yeah, play it cool. It wouldn't have worked out very well for us there. And we had to play it pretty uncool and just case it. But in any case... <laughs> Took another bit of damage. Looking like a very smart decision to abandon that eternal heart back there for a rainy day. Might as well kill these guys just to see if there was anything in the poop. Uh, I desperately need keys at this point, but of course you can't always get what you want. Chain reaction, not quite. Awful damage. Uh, that would have taken our uh, eternal heart, I think. And there's our key. We will use our key to check out the item room for a free additional 10 bombs. Not really that exciting. And I, I took some stupid damage here, don't get me wrong, but snagging this extra HP upgrade by way of the Eternal Heart is going to give me a little, little bit of extra hope moving forward. And if we could just get a Mom's Knife, or a Brimstone, or a Polyphemus Quad Shot, you know, triple shot, uh, piercing shots, incredible extra damage, uh, any of these combinations of items, Mom's Contact, many, many tiers upgrades, I don't know, we, we've got things that we can do. We've got outs. We just are running out of time to get them, basically. It's like we've already we've already had the turn in the game of uh, Texas Hold'em, and now we're just waiting on the river. And there's things that can save us and help us win the World Series of Poker, uh, but unfortunately, there's not too many, and they're starting to times ticking away. Live bombs. I don't like that, but we managed to avoid it, so it's okay. Lover's card would be amazing if we end up coming across an arcade at literally any point. That's telepills. Scares the shit out of me. And luck up. So we'll take luck up. Lover's card is not as important right now, but uh, we might end up using it later. It could tell it in on... There's a very small chance that it'll teleport us into the uh, shop, which would be awesome. I would be very pleased with that. Uh, there's also an off chance that it'll cause us to miss out on this boss room, which would be real shitty. I don't want that to happen. So we're probably going to save this and then use it after the boss fight, just in case it ends up, you know, taking us to a room where all of our dreams can come true. I haven't used Mr. Boom on this floor at all. That's a, a mistake, definitely. Not a huge one, necessarily, but a mistake nonetheless. And we'll let these come through. Another bomb for us. And we'll walk over here. Only two health on the fourth floor. 
Luckily, we're only against Pestilence, who is uh, he's a pussycat in comparison to some of the other bosses we could be fighting right now. And uh, Mr. Boom did end up hitting him and basically taking him down by half, which is amazing for us. We'll be able to build huge damage on these flies. And uh, yeah, Cuba Meat, deal with the devil. Do not forget that eternal heart. Well, no deal with the devil. But Cuba Meat and an eternal heart. Uh, we might as well get the Eternal Heart before we leave, otherwise that would make us the biggest idiot in the entire game right now. Could look for the secret room, we have 19 bombs, I guess it would be- Oh, we already know where the secret room is, never mind. That was just, uh, wasting a bomb for no reason. So, Eternal Heart, Telepills, down to the next floor. Is it the best use of Telepills? No, but if it takes us to the I Am Error Room, fantastic. Does our luck affect the rate at which we find, uh, the I Am Error Room? I don't think so. We'll see, maybe it'll take us to the shop. Wow, it took us... Well, that doesn't actually do anything for us. That just finishes our eternal heart. But it did take us to the second secret room. So that's a gender net positive, I guess. Although it doesn't really make a difference. As we backtrack here, I'm going to take a sip of my coffee and, you know, mull over the nature of man as I, uh, contemplate, which, let's be honest, is probably my impending doom on a future floor. But in any case, let's just enjoy this caffeine for now. Mmm, it's the little things, isn't it? So... Still with zero keys, the shop is not going to be viable. Might as well take out the uh, turret just to see on the off chance there was something in it. Do not have the ladder. And again, it wasn't like I had the decision to buy the ladder, and I chose not to anyway. I never had the decision to buy the ladder. It was in the shop, but I didn't have the money necessary to get it. We're on the depths part one. This might be what ends up saving us for a floor. The fact that we're on the depths means we uh, will be saved from a lot of the uh, more difficult enemies that we could be fighting at this point in the game i.e. Uh, masses of infamy and whatnot, uh, and we should fight easier bosses as well. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll end up fighting war on this floor, a relatively easy boss that will also give us a relatively decent upgrade in the form of a second cube of meat. But as for right now, oh, we're doing on this floor what we've done on every floor so far, and that's essentially uh, just waiting for the existence of some keys that will allow us to possibly improve our fortunes in the very near future. Can't believe that thing took so many hits to die, but anyway, 18 cents, 19 bombs! Zero keys. It's definitely losing the race uh, to be my favorite consumable right now. Or I guess it is my favorite consumable. Everything else is not valuable to me anymore because I have so many of them. But the keys! The keys are precious. And have not really turned out that fantastically for me. Lots of spacebar items that I really don't have a substantial vested interest in. But, okay. This is... I, I was going to say we can wait for the green uh, bomb to shoot and possibly open up some keys for us. Why bother? Instead, we'll just get two keys here. Uh, for the cost of a bomb each. I could use Mr. Boom, but we have so many bombs anyway, it doesn't really matter. We will definitely check out our shop, because we have the infrastructure now. I had a feeling that we'd end up fighting Greed. It's not the end of the world, you know? We did end up killing him with a single Mr. Boom. We ended up getting another troll bomb, but we lived regardless, and we picked up some more money. So that was a waste of a key in some circumstances, some respects, but it also put us in a position where uh, I can hopefully get a shop on the next floor. Sometimes getting keys will allow you to get more keys in the future, so uh, ideally that's how this is going to work out for me. With the amount of money that I have, I am A-OK -okay playing this judgment until he pays out. Uh, we'll probably get some more money anyway. That's This is what you get when you get greed, you know? Greed gives you enough money to possibly subsidize things like this. Extra spirit heart, very valuable. Uh, we will blow up this Tinted Rock as well. He has given us an HP upgrade and we'll blow up the Tinted Rock. Hope for the Small Rock upgrade. If there's more spirit hearts... Oh, that, that, perfect. I was going to say there's more spirit arts. We won't pick them up yet because, again, you know, I want to maximize the chances of us getting into the curse room. Uh, there is a red chest, which I do not want to open yet, just in case it ends up containing uh, live firepower. It does not. It contains, well, technically not, I guess. It contains spiders. Might as well look for the secret room here. It's not there, but anytime I get an opportunity to trade a bomb for a key, I'm happy to do so. Why am I saving the Mr. Boom bomb instead of using it all the time? Well, we have 17 bombs, and the Mr. Boom bomb is more offensive as an offense, or more uh, effective as an offensive weapon on a room like this, for example, because uh, it has the like Mr. Mega attachment to it, which allowed me to pretty easily take care of those guys right there. So there's several red chests here. I should probably avoid opening them, honestly, until at least I've been to the item room. Uh, Able again, solid uh, passive upgrade, but. Not really what I needed to carry me through, but I'm feeling a little bit stronger than we recently were. Small Rock is an awesome upgrade. And we'll see what this red chest hold for, holds for us. If we get enough red chests, eventually we've got to get something half decent. Abel is just going to allow us to do a little extra damage. So, three keys means we, uh, for once, are in a situation where we can actually look forward to the future uh, with a little bit of positivity. Because we will be able to open everything on the next floor if we at least survive that long. This is our boss area, so I'm actually not that tempted to use Mr. Boom here. I would rather keep it for the boss. 
We got another key, which is fantastic. Absolutely opening all these red chests. And, oh, I didn't realize there was still a bomb there. That is uh, some Halo of Flies and another red chest in here. There's another Spirit Heart, which we'll take for now. And uh, was Spirit Heart worth going to the Mob Trap Room? If I end up not taking two hits of damage, absolutely. It's kind of a, a draw on our time. That being said, who cares, basically. We killed a spider. We've only got uh, hoppers left. Very easy. And then with zombies, should be able to kill them without too much hassle. Remember, we do have Abel. Abel should be able. I can't believe I, I made the worst pun of all time there. On purpose. That was not an accidental pun. Uh, Abel should be able to knock out those zombies. Well, we do as well. So that was pretty easy. Uh, Depths part one. Gone well so far. War, please. It is Gish. You know what? That might even be a little bit better. I took the worst damage of all time. And now, we just want to snag that deal with the devil. Ah, thank God we ended up hitting him before he jumped. That was well planned on, on our part, I gotta admit. For once, at least. Now, between these uh, little gishes here, we should be able to build rage quite quickly. Rainbow Baby is allowing me to slow the slower herself. Himself. I always consider it a, a female, I guess, because it creates these enemies. Uh, almost as if it was, you know, like pregnant or a, a queen or a host or something, anyway. Uh, oh, took a little bit more damage. Deal with the devil. Chances dwindling a little bit in all likelihood, but that is Gish dead. We did Ernie deal with the devil. We did get Gish. Good familiar so far. And... Spirit of the Night. Yes. I hesitated because we really don't have that much health, and Spirit of the Night is not going to be the item which ends up saving our life. There's no question about that. Let me take a sip of my coffee as we get to this new area. New area that we haven't explored anyway, and I'm still exploring just in case we find, you know, golden chests, libraries, whatever. If anything allows me to get rid of Mr. Boom at this point, I'm very pleased. Half a spirit heart to go to the curse room is something that uh, does appeal to me. Why don't we check it out? We won't get... Ah, uh, we got Necronomicon. We traded half a spirit heart and Mr. Boom for the Necronomicon. Is that a good deal? Is that above market value? I'd say so. Why don't we check for our secret room just in case we end up finding fetus in a jar? Epic fetus? Anything like that would end up... Uh, assuaging my concerns a little bit because we are in a position that I would not necessarily consider defensible long term only two health no ways to replenish our spirit hearts we're in a rough spot three cents for three bombs is a bad trade but luckily we can absorb that bad trade and continue moving onwards not a big fan of Necronomicon but we may get a nun's habit or a nine volt or a battery from our shop on the next floor if we end up fighting super greed I'm going to be a little pissed but uh, I, well, we'll find out soon enough I guess get the map Seven cents, uh, good purchase, allows us to find the other secret rooms very easily. Might end up enabling us to get a great item, even a one-up or an onk would be amazing. Uh, there you go, alright, so it's atoned a little bit for <laughs> previous misgivings, perhaps. Uh, there's our item room as well, so I'll just quickly pop Necronomicon. I believe the Necronomicon is a once every six rooms item, in the same way that cookies are a sometimes food, so... Ah, uh, Mini Mush increases our speed plus our range and our rate of fire. Maybe, maybe not. It's hard to tell. Um, and now we begin the long trudge through the rest of this floor. Uh, we have... Is trudge even a real word? It just sounds bad, doesn't it? It's like the E-D-G-E -E, uh, in English. It just makes it sound terrible. Bad trip. That's a full health pill later. And telepills, which we can't really afford to use yet. But we will use telepills after we pick up the Polaroid. Uh, because then it could take us to a deal with the devil. It could take us out of the, the mom room where we could get a deal with the devil. Or, you know, it could just give us the I am error room and give us a number of, of useful items. But uh, make no bones about it. The um, bad trip pill is something that I will probably be looking to take with me through future floors. Because it's in all likelihood it's going to end up being a uh, full health for us. Or full health pill for us, which might end up saving our lives, at least briefly, or prolonging the inevitable, to be uh, a little bit more realistic in all likelihood. So we're just going to stand behind these rocks, and that was an easy room. Uh, probably didn't even need to come here, but it was just, you know, might as well, just in case there's a golden chest drop or a spirit heart drop. At this point, we've really got to, you know, pursue any leads that we have down basically every available avenue. This is not worth using Necronomicon on. I, oh, well, maybe it was, because I took some damage, but... Um, Necronomicon I'm going to save for like crowd control worthy rooms. Like this one for example. It's going to make things easier for us. So this is our boss room. We know that this is where we need to go in the end. But it's not where we want to be right now. Instead we will examine all of these remaining rooms just in case we come across a library. Book of Revelations. An arcade that can maybe allow me to get an HP upgrade. Uh, and you know. Who knows what else we could possibly come across. More red chests means more opportunities to possibly uh, pick up a red chest item. That would be amazing for us. That's the benefit of having the left hand, I guess, even though it hasn't been fantastic for us. Hey, Guppy's Paw. All right. Well, let's work with this for a second. We'll take Guppy's Paw, and we'll, we'll turn ourselves into six spirit hearts. 
or we'll, we'll turn our health into six spirit hearts, I should say. Um, this might, you know, it, you know, you might be saying, oh, well, you got rid of the Necronomicon to make that happen. And, oh, of course, there's a blood bank here. And to a certain extent, you're right. It, it sucks that we got rid of the Necronomicon because uh, Guppy's Paw doesn't have a great active effect for us. That being said, neither really does. Um, we're very close to becoming Guppy here, actually. Uh, it's worth noting that uh, the. Uh, Necronomicon doesn't have that great of an active effect either. I mean, you know, there's people who like it. I'm one of them. I think it's an okay item. Uh, but compared to other spacebar items, it's not really that effective. It's not going to win the game for us. How much damage is the Necronomicon going to do against Ice Cream Blue Baby? 5%? Maybe if we're being generous? Maybe 10 if we get very lucky? Um, but for now, you know what would be a great trinket? How about something that increases the... Uh, Effectiveness of your spacebar item. So, for example, uh, if you pick it, it'd be like an Aghanim Scepter from Dota, but instead of uh, you know giving you, it, it would be different based on every single uh, spacebar item. For example, for Guppy's Paw, instead of giving you uh, three Spirit Hearts per heart container, maybe it gives you four. For Unicorn Horn, maybe it does more damage, or maybe it gives you a longer duration. Same thing, maybe it makes Necronomicon charge faster. Very interesting idea. So th I'm definitely going to snag this HP upgrade. We're going to fight our bosses up here. I'm not going to uh, use Telepills, because again, might totally fuck us. If I use Telepills and I leave, uh, and I end up getting the I Am Error Room, then we can't uh, fight our boss. We can't get the Polaroid. That puts us in a really shitty position if we want to try to succeed. Uh, this all being said, Telepills might end up doing a great service for us after the mom boss fight if it allows us to snag a deal with the devil. Although I will admit that in our current position, uh, a deal with the devil is probably unlikely to work out well for us at this point because we do lack uh, any conventional red heart containers at all. There are spirit heart uh, deals with the devil. That's, you know, very useful to us, but we'll, it's kind of unlikely that they'll show up, especially considering we didn't start this floor with only spirit hearts. So if it's like pre programmed, then it doesn't matter. Okay! What was that thing? We have Telepills still. Um, there is an item back here. That's our Necronomicon, which we don't really want. Uh, there are pills in this room. What is this pill? It's Bad Trip, which doesn't actually affect me anymore, so we should definitely stick with Telepills. And now we go fight the boss. So uh, here's what I'm thinking. We fight the boss, see if we get a deal with the devil. Either way, we'll probably use Telepills afterwards, just to see if we can snag a deal with the devil. Um, and uh, then maybe we can also get the I Am Arrow Room, you never know. It's going to be a regular version of Mom. That's nice for us, and we're sticking with Guppy's Paw as opposed to the Necronomicon. Because I don't have anything... There's two reasons. I don't have anything to augment the Necronomicon to make it more useful. I don't have a Nun's Habit, I don't have Battery, I don't have 9 volts. Uh, but additionally, there's always a chance that we'll pick up some more HP, either by way of uh, Eternal Hearts at some point, or just, you know, item drops from the next couple of bosses, uh, or random Golden Chests, which we'll probably be getting more of now, because we have Guppy's Tail and also the ability to fly. We'll need more keys, obviously, to make that work. Anyway! What I'm just trying to get at is the effectiveness of Guppy's Paw is probably more important to us uh, because the uh, extra spirit arts we get might end up allowing us to get a victory here, especially with permanent Polaroid invincibility as an added effect. Mom fight is going very well so far. We're not doing fantastic damage. That's really our sore spot right now uh, is that our damage is pretty darn low. So if I'm able to kill Mom here, which I am, I took some damage. Get Pageant Boy. Shitty item, especially at this point in the game. Uh, we'll lose the left hand. We'll take Telepills. Telepills has taken us basically to nowhere. Uh, and then this is the last ditch ever. Do we want um, Necronomicon? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say that Guppy's Paw is probably going to be more effective for us. So again, we're going to make our way into this mom room, see if there is a deal with the devil that we have earned for leaving. And uh, if there is, Bob's your uncle. I don't know what that means, but I got an Uncle Bob. Who doesn't these days? Uh, I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. And the fact that we're still alive is pretty surprising in all honesty. There's our deal with the devil. And uh, it's Krampus, and that's great, you know? As much as I would love to be disappointed with the fact that we got Krampus, that was probably one of the best case scenarios for us. Lump of Coal plus Rage are going to synergize quite nicely with one another. The good thing about having Lump of Coal is that if a boss doesn't offer minions or doesn't summon any minions, uh, it does give me an option for a strategy to do more damage to them, so I can just stand further away. Uh, we do not have a D6, so it's not like there's any way around it. In any case, I might as well just kind of stand near him and let the orbitals do the dirty work now, because we already took some damage. Make sure you don't take two hits of damage, though. And I'm okay with that. Lump of Coal's good. Let us head down to the next floor. Polaroid, money, decent amounts of keys, Guppy's tail, Guppy's paw. If we get Guppy's head, we will become Guppy, and then um, that will be interesting, to say the least. Secret room contains more money, which is, you know, vastly and very quickly losing its usefulness. But we live. We continue to still be alive, which is a little bit more than um, the more conservative amongst you out there might have given me at this point. 
Uh, I fully expected us to die before we even finish with this mom fight. So, uh, obviously, having the map is nice, but it doesn't necessarily guarantee us any kind of success um, when it comes to finding the boss room. I'm just letting Abel do my dirty work here. That seems reasonable. It allowed me to not take any damage, and that is going to be uh, a big part of my success <laughs> is uh, not taking damage at this point of the game. I'm just staying a little bit back of this um, fortune teller. I want spirit hearts, but if it pays out with trinkets, that puts us in an awkward position because I don't want to accidentally pick up the tick and lose the Polaroid forever. We'll play until we get down to 40 cents. How's that for a compromise? I'm going to guess that the boss room is over there in the top right. Uh, unfortunately, I am probably going to look in every other direction first just because there's a chance that he's not there. Uh, and this will mean, you know, if, if he's right over here, then we found him very quickly, obviously, so that... It's a risk versus a reward thing. We're probably going to end up going to more rooms as a result of this, which might not actually be a bad thing if we get more items, but, uh... Anyway, so we know he's not there. Map basically saves us, like, four or five rooms per floor, if you want to think about it like that. And I do, because, uh, I'm trying to feel better about the fact that we didn't get the compass. Now, if I just hang out right here, we should be able to pretty quickly destroy Blast Assist without taking damage ourselves. The Orbitals will be able to do damage when Blast Assist gets too close. Kind of a stressful way of dealing with this fight, but, uh, by the same token, it's getting the job done. This Blast Assist has decided to leave because he was a little bit scared of, uh, the firepower that I had, I guess. Good news! Didn't take any damage there. Kind of much to my surprise. There's a mob trap room, which we'll check out. Golden chest. Why not? Let's pop it open and see if we get anything. We got a key out of it. Just fine. Is there not... I was going to say, is there not a golden chest on this floor already? It was this one. Every key that we get is great, uh, because we are, you know, holding uh, Guppy's tail at this point. But, you know, we spent a key to get that key, so we really effectively only got a single penny. So I'm really hoping that this pays out with some kind of pill or something afterwards. Uh, or more keys, or more spirit hearts. Or more of anything, really, to justify my time. Although, let's be frank, if I don't take any damage leaving this room, or before leaving this room, then uh, it ended up being a fairly decent value proposition for me regardless. So I have built up some decent damage by a rage. Lump of coal is allowing me to do some damage as well, as long as I stay further away. And actually, this means mini mush, which we picked up a lot earlier. It's going to allow us to do some fairly sizable damage. Perfect. We didn't get anything else, but at least we didn't take damage in the process. This is not the boss room, which means I was indeed correct, and the boss room will be up in the top right. Uh, disappointingly so, somewhat, because I really thought uh, we might get lucky. That being said, the floor's been pretty good for us so far. This is a telepills pill. So tempting, but also so scary every time. Uh, we're going to wait to pop this until we beat the boss, because we do want to make sure that we don't lose out on the opportunity to pick up another item. This is always the worst. It's really a shame that the telepills, after we got Forget Me Now, didn't work out very well for us. But anyway, that's fine. Uh, oh, I mean, it worked out fine. It could have been better, though. So we got more money and more bombs there. Red hearts we can't use and no keys. So we do have a, a net negative on that on that room from keys, which sucks. Cursed Skull is a pretty bad item, in my opinion. Back to F up. Again, luckily, by abusing our range advantage consciously. Hopefully, I put myself in a position where I don't accidentally take so much fucking damage against those uh, bomb flies exploding in my face. Now, this judgment is a uh, moment of truth here. I did keep Guppy's paw just in case we ran into a situation where we snagged an HP upgrade. This guy could very reasonably pay out with one, which is exactly what he did. Now, we're going to hold on to this HP upgrade for now. Even though it is going to uh, possibly ruin some chances for permanent Polaroid invincibility, it also gives us a chance for one hard deals with the devil, which might not be possible if we use it. Maybe we might not have Spirit Heart-esque deals with the devil. So we earned uh, effectively one cent from that golden chest. Golden chest, kind of like red chests, it's, it's a risk reward thing. Many of them do not pay out in a way that is uh, worth the cost. That being said, uh, many of them pay out with HP upgrades that can end up saving our lives in the whole scheme of things. What about this? What do we have here? Pinky's Eye. I like that as a trinket. Can't do anything with it though, unfortunately, because we have to hold on to the Polaroid. Barely got out of the way there. No, nope, and didn't get out of the way there. I don't know. That, that bomb exploded much faster than I had anticipated. Wow, uh, I got nuked down pretty quickly there. Okay, so that's a situation where permanent Polaroid invincibility would have ended up helping me out a lot, of course. That, oh, we are in a rough spot now. We lost a lot of health towards the end of this floor, and this is still only Utero 1. Luckily, we did snag this HP upgrade, so I, I'm not dead yet. Uh, I'm not in a good position, though. One more, I think, and then get the F out of the... Whoa, I still got hit there. That's so disappointing. Okay, so we're just going to stand as far away as we can. I hate fighting Daddy Long Legs for this reason. Like, when the legs come down, you really can't do any damage. You just 
got to get lucky uh, and, you know, do as much damage as possible during this situation, which is why I'm standing as far away as I possibly can, because uh, this will hopefully allow me to hit him with all of the power of Lump of Coal. Deal with the Devil. Deal with the Devil. No deal with the Devil. HP upgrade. No more deals with the Devil possibly exist. I'm just going to telepills just in case. There's our secret room. Uh, and we'll bomb our way out here to save ourselves a little bit of time. We might be able to get a deal with the devil on the way back in, similar to how that works on the mom fight. If we don't, it is uh, obviously time for us to move on. So we're going to pop both of these. We'll get uh, we'll be back up to seven and a half spirit hearts. Enough to beat mom's heart, probably. Uh, and then we're kind of on our own after that. Stranger things have happened. I think uh, decision-wise, I've done pretty well on this run. Uh, but we, we've kind of been handed not fantastic items, and we find ourselves in a position where, you know, there's probably things I could have done to improve our chances, but uh, I, I'm pleased with our decision-making nonetheless. Our dodging? Not at all. Uh, but the, the decisions I've made on an intellectual level, better than usual, I'd say. Uh, yeah, we'll pop this open because we kind of need all of our uh, possible benefits here, and that golden chest definitely ended up paying out. Paying out. It gave us an extra key. Uh, also gave us... Ooh, there's a one-up, too. So we're going to be able to die like three times because we have the Ankh as well. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, the, the golden chest was good. It ended up keeping us at four keys, which is important if we end up making it to the chest, which is unlikely, but still, uh, it would be nice to, you know, have that hope in my head. Uh, beyond that, we also picked up a spirit heart as well, which is, of course, exceptionally valuable, and we found the boss room right away. This is a, a godsend for us. If we can end up gaining health on this floor, uh, you know, it only benefits us, obviously. It doesn't convey any negatives. Uh, Ace of Spades would love to keep it. Have to take the Polaroid with me, though. And, again, there's no possibilities for HP upgrades, but even if there were, we do have Guppy's Paw, so we could uh, pretty quickly turn those into extra health for myself. Fantastic. We're gonna, it's going to be a very traditional Mom's Heart boss fight. Uh, we're going to be firing as quickly as we can. Oh, that was really bad. Uh, from as far as we can, ideally. Come on, thank you, Orbitals. Uh, and hopefully taking out these enemies before they become a significant threat. Lump of Coal should allow me to tear that guy up really quickly. There we go. More bombs dropped in. And, oh, it didn't take out the laser like I thought it would. Thank you, Abel. And the problem is we're, we have such momentum on our shots that we're really knocking those bombs out of there before they have the potential to do crowd control on the enemies, which is the whole reason that I'm putting them in there in the first place. Duke of Flies is out. Mom is continuously firing bombs. That means this fight is basically over. So uh, I did take some damage on this fight. Not proud about that, but uh, it's over. And we will head up to the cathedral. Deal with the devil can never contain uh, an item for us at this point. Just wanted to check that out. Because occasionally I see comments, Northern Line, why didn't you go with the deal with the devil after the uh, Mom's Heart boss fight? Okay, glorious food of life has uh, entered my body, or fluid of life, I guess. Unicorn horn. Probably more valuable at this point. <laughs> Uh, as much as I would love to keep Guppy's Paw in case we get health upgrades on the uh, chest, if Unicorn Horn makes like once every four rooms substantially easier, that's beautiful. We turned invisible for a second there. Um, so yeah, I I'm happy with Unicorn Horn. Secret rooms have been paying out better than uh, item rooms have been paying out, which is uh, rare. We have another Judgment who could... Yeah, watch this. If, if he gives me an HP upgrade, I can always spend a bomb, go back and get Guppy's Paw and take free three spirit hearts uh, with pleasure. Whoa, Book of Revelations. I don't think Book of Revelations will have enough opportunity to pay out to be useful. Um, so I think Unicorn Horn is actually going to save us more spirit hearts than Book of Revelations would give us. If this was earlier in the game, obviously that would be uh, a mistake. But And also, you know, if we had anything like a uh, mom's... Uh, wait, I'm thinking of the wrong items here. If we had a... Um, uh, nine volt, nuns habit, etc., etc. Anything that made us more likely to get spirit hearts by way of Book of Revelations, that would be probably more beneficial as well, enough to swing it in its favor. Uh, but I don't really think that it, it's going to be the right decision here. I think it's the right decision to take Unicorn Horns, use it on bosses. If only I had Poison Touch, it would be even better. But you know, can't always get what you want. Uh, I'm not going to open that up because there's no point. And this is not our boss room, but there is a Tinted Rock, so this is a good direction to be right now. Just wanted to murder the champion before he managed to shoot. I did not accomplish that goal, but I did kill him soon after. And he dropped a whole shiny penny for me. Don't spend it all in one place. How are we still alive and, and doing relatively okay here? It's a little bit beyond me. Bad use of a bomb. Probably shouldn't have shot at it for no reason but an extra spirit heart. And we actually have gained health over the past few floors. One thing I could have done is take Book of Revelations and... Um, all right. Take Book of Revelations and then take Unicorn Horn uh, at the end of the floor to fight the boss, but get the Spirit Hearts from Book of Revelations on all of these charges. But, you know, I'm, I'm intending to use Unicorn Horn as soon as it's off charge, unless... You know, I was wrong, by the way. It actually is once every uh, six rooms instead of once every four rooms. With that being said, let's drop the bomb in here. Um, 
that being said, oh, that's awful damage to take. I, I still hold by this decision. It might end up fucking me in the end, but uh, I tried at the very least. And I, I think I had good reasons for my decisions. Might just be a uh, poor execution that ends up. Do oh, I took another hit. God damn it, super greed. You're so annoying. Thank you for dying. Don't. Oh my god, I took another hit as well. Oh, Unicorn Horn, you better pay out for me. Although, keep in mind, we would have only had one extra Spirit Heart at this point. All right, we wouldn't even. We would have one extra Spirit Heart after I finish this next room. The most important part about this, don't let your confidence erode too much just because you took some damage on um, a single room. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're fucked for the rest of them. It just means you're, you're a little bit worse off than you'd otherwise be in. Just lower the odds a little bit, but don't tell me the odds. This is a shitty room. Uh, in a very dangerous room as well. L okay, we're still alive and have not been hit. Now we've been hit, but still, I'm impressed with the fact that we didn't get hit that much on this room. What can I say? I'm easily impressed. Uh, are we going to be able to beat Isaac? I don't think so. Um, being realistic, I think our odds are pretty low. I've been wrong before, and I, I would love to be wrong here. I don't think I am, but as always, stranger things have happened. Uh, yeah, we go fight Isaac, we dodge every shot he shoots in, we get a great tarot card from Sloth here, oh, that should not have happened, that's gonna really hurt our chances, but we get a great tarot card from Sloth here, and everything is saved, Bob's Rotten Head is not gonna be that item for me, it's not a tarot card at all, okay, this is probably our death now, we've survived longer than I expected, though, and is this really doing that much damage? Well, it's doing about as much as I admonished the Necronomicon for doing earlier. Oh, we might as well go stand right next to him again. Drop some fat bombs in here. Don't accidentally hit yourself with your own bomb. That would be borderline death sentence right now. Now, we do have the scapular and also, like, 20 lives after this. Keep in mind, we have a uh, Ankh and 1-Up. I don't know how that works with the 1-Up. Like, how much health we'll spawn with. Maybe zero because we don't have any red hearts? I don't know. Uh, scapular... Does scapular not give us another spirit heart in this situation? Apparently not. Okay. Well, um, I don't think that bomb hits. I'm trying to stay as far away as possible in the hopes that uh, Lump of Coal, the damage, saves me. We are going to enter the third phase of Isaac. Problem is, if I don't win this one, the odds of us winning subsequent lives become substantially worse because we've already used our Unicorn Horn. We're going to start with less health. Actually, with, with the Ankh, we might start with more health. But I have no idea how the 1-Up's going to work. Uh... And, you know, this fight's not over yet. It probably will be in a matter of seconds. It's not over yet. That could have hit us quite easily. Well, get the fuck out of there. That was really scary. I'm just trying to kill Isaac first, because if he dies, then I don't have to watch out for these homing shots. Still a, an awful matrix of shots to have to dodge. Oh, oh, I walked through the fire and the flames. Uh, do I have invincibility now? I did. Okay, I should have walked in there, but I didn't want to kill myself by walking into the enemy. Isaac is dead. If I can just hit him once. Oh my god. Okay. Oh no! Oh no. I have no health. How am I gonna do this? If I get hit once, I'm dead, right? I just picked up Bob's Rod and Head. I'm not even gonna use it. We're just gonna stand here and, you know, this one, we'll give it the old college try. By the same token, our odds are not very good. Yes, that had to happen. Now it's the Onk. We have five health, Bob's Rod and Head. <laughs> Which is like a. I picked Bob's Rod and Head exclusively because it will work. Like, it'll, it'll do one hit of damage, which is more than we can say for the Unicorn Horn. Uh, and obviously this is a very short-term decision, but a short-term decision that I hope is going to work out for us. Uh, we shot our bomb away by accident because I'm an idiot. So we'll drop another one in here. That w may have worked out better for us. Really got to take note of this next hit that I take, because it's not going to show up as invincibility. But I've got to make sure to run in there, because the orbitals might be my savior at this point. I can't believe I beat Isaac uh, and then ended up taking damage right after on the Angel Fetus. It's so stupid of me. Okay. We can still take one hit, and we might get more health back to the scapular. Uh, I don't think so. I think this is it for us. We can still do it. Get exceptionally lucky. Get exceptionally fucky. Okay. Just hold the button. Hold the line. Get the fuck out of the way. I'm sorry, Ludacris, I didn't mean to infringe on your intellectual property. Now, we're invincible here, I think. I'm, I'm trapped in the, the hell. Oh, my God. Okay, that was just an assault of bullets at the end. I tried, though. I think that was a lot of fun. 
Uh, and it was a good opportunity to learn Samson a little bit better. I abused all the advantages I think I could, went to the curse rooms, played uh, fast and loose, but still lost. But in any case, a fun run nonetheless. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode and the series in general. I will see you next time, when hopefully I will not be playing a Samson, because seriously, fuck that dude. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.